So in the second section of uh, esophageal tumors, uh, we'd be studying about the different malignant type of epithelial tumors and the benign type of epithelial tumors. So in this section, we'd be studying about uh, the malignant types of epithelial tumors such as the squamous cell carcinoma and its different types of uh, rare variants and the malignant melanoma. And in the benign type of epithelial tumors, we'd be studying about squamous papilloma, inflammatory fibroid polyp. So malignant epithelial tumors, these are the tumors that arises from within the epithelial surface of the esophagus and within the mucosa. It does not arise from any other part other than the epithelial tumors. The different type of squamous cell carcinoma variants, we've studied about squamous cell, but now we're studying about the different variants of squamous cell carcinoma. The first is the varicose carcinoma. It is usually present in patients with uh, um, patients uh, around 40 to 50 years, middle-aged, and it is common, um, more common in men. Papillary, uh, the endoscopically you'd see that it has a very papillary and warty appearance. And histologically, if you uh, see through a microscope, uh, you'd see a lot of hyperkeratosis and ekinthosis. It is a very slow growing uh, tumor with very good prognosis. It is, uh, it is a very rare tumor though, and uh, there are almost around 30 reported cases that uh, has been reported. The second uh, variant of squamous cell carcinoma is the carcinosarcoma, which is also called as the pseudo uh, carcinoma, or it is also called the polyp, uh, polyp carcinoma. It has a very polypoid sort of an appearance, and it is usually solitary or it can be multiple. And the patient usually presents with dysphagia and some sort of epigastric discomfort. And uh, if you see uh, histologically, the patient usually has a very uh, prominent spindle cell uh, component uh, within the, this tumor. The second type of uh, malignant epithelial tumor is the small cell carcinoma. This small cell carcinoma is around 0.8 to 3.1 of all the esophageal malignancies. Average age is around 65 years old and it has a very uh, prominent male predominance. It is a very uh, highly aggressive tumor and has a very poor prognosis. The patient usually presents with dysphagia, weight loss, and uh, epigastric pain or chest discomfort. Patients usually uh, that present with uh, small cell carcinoma, uh, around 90% are smokers and around 70% uh, present with uh, alcohol use. The treatment, uh, the main palliative treatment for this uh, type of carcinoma is chemotherapy. And the survival rate is almost 11 months after diagnosis and almost two year, and the survival rate for two years is around uh, 5%. So if we talk about a uh, different type of malignant epithelial tumor, which is known as malignant melanoma. It is a very, very rare uh, malignant epithelial tumor around 0.1 to 2% of all esophageal cancers. This uh, type of malignant epithelial tumor can metastasize early and has a very poor prognosis. The melanocytes at the basal layer of the epithelium is uh, one of the reason of its pathogenesis of the, this type of melanoma or this type of uh, tumor within the esophagus. It is usually uh, more common in 60 years old uh, male uh, predominant population and uh, the patient might present with the most common symptoms such as dysphagia. Um, it is a very non-nucleated pigmented tumor. If you see through the endoscope, this part over here is a very pigmented melanin uh, containing uh, part of the mucosa and uh, uh, suggest uh, the mal malignant melanoma such as this 
part over here in the mucosal surface of the epithelium. Other than that, the incidence of um, metastasis to the lymph node is around 40 to 80 percent. Uh, this type of uh, malignant epithelium tumor can also metastasize to the regional lymph nodes. And lastly, the five-year survival rate uh, for this type of malignant tumor is around 37 percent. So now if we come to the benign epithelial tumors, what are the epithelial tumors that has a very benign sort of a perspective? The most common is the squamous papilloma. Squamous papilloma patients are usually asymptomatic. They do not have um, any sort of symptoms such as dysphagia or dinophagia. These, uh, this type of tumor is usually very solitary and has a very exophytic lesion, which is mostly present in the lower third of the esophagus as compared to the first third and the middle third of the esophagus. Uh, this type of tumor tend to have a very uh, white or pinkish color and the consistency is usually smooth to slightly rough. Um, this squamous papilloma has a very uh, finger-like projections of connective tissue which has an increased uh, number of squamous cells uh, within the projections. The prevalence uh, of this benign epithelial tumor uh, called as squamous papilloma it has around 0.006% to 0.04%. It has a very uh, highly uh, risk uh, which includes the infection with uh, human papilloma virus. And it has a malignant transformation, so thus we uh, have to reject this, sur uh, this surgically and uh, this is one of the treatment modalities that can be offered to the patient. The second type of benign epithelial tumor is the adenoma. Adenoma is very exclusively associated with Bratz esophagus and gastroesophageal reflux disease. And it has a very polypoid uh, sort of a lesion. Uh, as you can see in this histological picture, it has these polypoid uh, lesions. It is usually present in the lower third uh, of the distal part of the esophagus. And um, it has dysplastic tubular glands. And this is one of the theory uh, that has been uh, proposed uh, to which the, the pathogenesis of adenoma, adenoma can be um, suggested. It has a very malignant uh, transformation. Um, so that is why uh, endoscopic resection uh, is considered for uh, patients with adenoma. Inflammatory fibroid polyp is another type of uh, benign epithelial tumor. Um, it has a, if you see through an endoscope, it has a submucosal based uh, polypoid lesion and fibroblastic proliferation with an increased number of uh, eosinophils. It usually expresses uh, the CD3-4 and has a negative uh, uh, expression to CD117. And it is usually present, uh, uh, it is usually asymptomatic and is found incidentally while a patient is having endoscope, uh, endoscopy for any other uh, esophageal disorder. And it is usually non-neoplastic. Uh, That's all from this section. Uh, keep watching the other section regarding this topic and please keep watching scario.com.